This video is sponsored by PotownStore.com, the place for all your Pokemon TCG online needs. Looking for some Rebel Clash boosters? No problem, they got your back and deliver the codes instantly. So definitely check them out at PotownStore.com and use the coupon code ZAPDOSTCG for 5% of your next order. Also, if you're from Europe, be sure to check out CardMarket.com. This is the best place for you to get physical cards. You can buy cards from people all across Europe as well as sell cards yourself. It's the best platform for buying and selling physical cards in Europe and I personally use it every single day So be sure to check out the website if you haven't already cardmarket.com What's up with you? It's Zapdos TCG here and welcome back to our TCG video on my channel. Today we're going to be opening up some uh, products because it's been a while and uh, today we are the 26th of June which means this product came out, the Trainer's Toolkit which is probably the best product that Pokemon uh, actually uh, ever released because it's very great for uh, people to get into the competitive scene. This gets you a whole heap of stuff as you can see here like bo uh, burned and poison markers, damage counters, rule book, uh, sleeves, booster packs, even four booster packs and 150. 50 cards in total so we'll see here on the back it says everything you need to build a powerful deck and uh, I actually have to uh, um, give them the benefit of the doubt it actually is uh, working out to build a powerful deck they uh, include things like the Denny GX powerful supporters in the form of bosses orders I typically like used uh, card markets to actually buy my bosses orders and uh, now they come in this box which is even way uh, easier to get them certain cards will uh, drop down in value but it says here everything you need to know to build a powerful deck turn your card collection into playable fun and winning pokemon trading card game decks inside this box you'll find a plethora of trainer cards and energy cards plus a deck builder's guide to put them all together to find a deck that showcases your best pokemon you'll find everything you need to uh, help you make the choices every deck builder faces more big hp pokemon or stuff <laughs> more strategic trainer cards how much energy is too much uh, steer a course for completely new decks original combos and all the fun of a head-to-head -head competition with the Pokemon TCG trainers toolkit I love this product so much this will mean that lots of players can get into the TCG you we already seen that league battle uh, deck with a uh, Picaram including things like Jirachi and Research. This time around, you'll get yourself the Dedenne, the most consistent, uh, yeah, the consistency booster. Just use Quick Ball, get the Dedenne, get a fresh hand. So we're gonna be opening this up in this video. So hopefully you guys are uh, stoked for another uh, booster opening. Of course, we're gonna be opening up some more packs on the channel, uh, more specifically Darkness Ablaze. Darkness of Place is a set I'm looking forward to so much. There's a lot of things uh, about that set that make it very good. We have, of course, a new archetype, a top tier archetype with, of course, uh, the Eternatus VMAX, but also niche one prize decks in the form of Mad Party are, are uh, yeah, decks I'm looking forward to. So it's going to be fantastic to explore that. Of course, you'll see it, of course, first on this channel uh, because I want to explore everything as soon as possible. So the Trainer's Toolkit is actually a very steady box as it is right here. So uh, it can hold and stock up some cards. The trainer's toolkit is about to be opened. So what you see here is uh, you get some booster packs. We'll see what booster packs are actually in here. Some people don't even know that I uh, am one of those. So we have Unbroken Bonds, Sword and Shield, Rebel Clash, Rebel Clash. So all of these packs uh, contain uh, playable cards that will not rotate. In August, we have, of course, a rotation taking away some of the uh, uh, crucial sets, for instance, like Forbidden Light with Malamore, uh, Celestial Storm. Uh, there's a lot of sets that will rotate out, uh, even things like Lost Thunder and uh, Electro Power Zero Aura Shenanigans. If you want to learn more about the rotation, there is, of course, a video in uh, yeah, the description below. Definitely check that link out if you want to learn more about the rotation. But these are all uh, packs that stay legal for at least a whole year, which is awesome. We have this... Uh, Pokemon trading card game rules. What are the rules? Become a Pokemon master. Yeah, uh, so telling you about certain types. I don't know why they put fairy type in here. They stopped printing fairy types uh, with sword and shield, but they still include it in this uh, rule book. So you see here how to evolve the trainers, uh, the zones of the Pokemon TCG, like the discard pal, your bench and all that. If you want to uh, learn a little bit of uh, information about abilities, placing damage counters, burn, this is the rule book for you. It's very nice explained uh, in a situation like this. So uh, instance, you are a fire type, smacking damage against a grass type, you smack more damage. Uh, the paralysis and all that, all the special conditions explained. So definitely check this out if you are new to the game. Definitely some uh, nice reading material right there. Then there's also uh, this uh, deck builder's guide. 
how to make competitive decks like bigger arm yeah very consistent <laughs> the nozzle is even in here we actually made that video this week uh some certain tools trainers yeah pick around with zavdos and alolan raichu and uh yeah they say how to upgrade your league battle deck which is actually very nice so this is nice and then we have the damage counters look at it that i actually want to get this out Typically, I'm not a huge fan of these damage counters, but now they actually are very nice. Uh, so we have damage on them, so you don't need to overstock. Uh, just place a bazillion amount of damage counters. Just one will actually be sufficient to smack 110 damage or even 120 if you are going crazy. Then this is a, a very nice one. This is for uh, your coin flip. So typically you would like flip a coin, but uh, in tournaments you see people using dice more often. For heads, it's uh, the even number for, uh, yeah, this is an even number and that the odd number will of course be tails. Let's just uh, see our luck, crushing hammer. It is a heads, I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, there we go, this is gonna be fantastic. Also very good with turbo patch using the dice like that. Okay, what else do we have in here? We have some fantastic looking sleeves. Uh, I do love the print on this. You have some energy symbols all across, a rainbow pattern. Uh, yeah, the quality typically they don't last as long like uh, Dragon Shields, but they are very nice to play with. Definitely, if you uh, yeah don't have any sleeve just yet, it's a nice start uh, for sure. Okay, and now to the cards. Look at that. We're gonna sh uh, check out the cards first. Look at the daddy. Look, that is already here. Okay, uh, the code card will need that to be giving away on my streams. So what else? Okay, we're gonna start off with, yeah, the best package, of course. Not gonna save the best for last. So look, the Dene is stacked up in here. So it's sealed very well. And let's check out, oh, so wonderful. I'm looking, I'm so hyped. I don't know if you can tell by my voice, but I'm so hyped about this. So look at this, we have the Dene. Let the camera focus on that little cutie. Look at that, the alternate art the Dene. We even have two of them. So uh, typically decks will run one copy or even, yeah, two copies. Certain decks even run three copies like Picarum or uh, an ultimate Mew Mew list. But most decks you'll see uh, in tournaments use one or two copies. Think about Zacian decks, think about Dragapult decks, think about Babel Asaphil and only runs one. So uh, having two already is very nice. So we're gonna put them right here. Everything, all the good stuff we're gonna put right there. Also, while we're at it, might as well put, uh, yeah, the sleeves right around here. Some information, gonna put that over here. Then the dice, I'm gonna put them back in the plastic bag. So you can uh, actually make a, a kind of a cool thumbnail with it. Uh, yeah, burn and poison markers, you'll need that if you uh, like special conditions. Yeah, typically I don't use special conditions. Sometimes I use bursting burn <laughs> with my Blacephalon. So at this point we'll put the booster packs like this. Yeah, looks pretty nice, right? We have some supporters and we have Malulana. Camera has to focus a little bit more. Yeah. All right, Melulanos, two of them, two, one boss orders. I think they're uh, not divided equally. Okay, here's a welder, that's another supporter. Barney, we're gonna start with the supporters first, fellas. We're gonna make our way through this fantastic trainer toolkit. Look at that, all these fantastic supporters. Uh, yeah, so, and green again. Okay, let's see here, we have one research. Two research, two professors research. We're gonna put them like this, two research. Then the next best thing is probably the Marnies. Like in the past, they were really uh, hard to get because they are holographics in the main sets uh, in the sets of Sword and Shield. Uh, some of these trainers actually are rare cards, rare, rare holographics, bosses orders. So look at these staples. These staples are fantastic. Boss's orders right there. There's a green's exploration. I used to be playing green a lot with Babe Blacephalon, but then with the first turn supporter, supporter rule, green <laughs> was not as great anymore. And I uh, swapped over to Jirachi, but still, nevertheless, very great stuff right here. Mellow Lama. All right, I like it. Next up, Quick Balls. How many do we get? Also gonna divide the energies. Uh, did I forgot an energy right here? Nope. Special energies. Yeah, we do get a couple of special energies, as it seems. One quick ball, again. Energies. Energies. I think you got two of a lot of things. A lot of things are uh, two. So, two quick balls. Very nice. So you actually get uh, lots of these staple cards to make decks with, which is insanely awesome. Let's see here. These are all Poke gear. How many saucers? I think two of each, right? So let's grab, this is up here. And this is up here. So two Pokey Gear, fine. Two Fire Crystal, very good with Welder, of course. 
where is that other candy? Rare candy. And certain of the, uh, some of these cards have alternate arts which you can no, not find anywhere else. For instance, there's an awesome looking reset stamp. Reset stamp is very popular in the TCG, putting the opponent back and uh, that's gonna help out a lot. So two reset stamp. Then another very powerful card to be honest is Metal Saucer, seeing use in all metal decks out there. Two Metal Saucers, let's put these booster packs a little bit down here so we can have some more room here. Communication, that's also very nice. That has an alternate art as you can see. Two copies of Communication, so this kit is insane. Getting you all these staple cards. Uh, yeah, I think the rest is not that important. Although getting uh, tool scrappers might become more important if more tool cards get released. Also a very powerful uh, item card as almost every deck is Switch. Yeah, tool card, get out of here. There's also Ordinary Rods, getting resources back. From the discard pile has never been easier thanks to ordinary rod we also can get energies from the deck with energy spinner and i do believe energy spinner will be great in a, a post rotation version of blacephalon getting out of the active position with air balloon very easy uh, spy then uh, also a couple of stadium cards not the best ones in the world but we'll talk about that soon so there's vitality band there's evolution incense two copies of that and then yeah some stadium cards we're gonna talk about the, the uh, booster packs very shortly. Hopefully it will pull something nice. Some stadiums over here. And then, yeah, special energies. Let's put these. Uh, I don't even have space anymore. Let's put them to the side. These are not the most important thing. So two twin energy, two speed lightning energy, two aurora energy, and the sleeves, and dice. Uh, put the dice right over here, it's fine. Okay. What can we see? This is a whole heap of cards. They are worth more than uh, the purchase price of the trainer's toolkit, for sure. Then there's a whole heap of cards. I do expect that these are basic energies. I'm gonna open them up just to be sure, but I am 100% sure they are basic energies. So you can start making decks, I think, with all types out there. We'll see, we'll see, let's go. Uh, yeah, energies of all types, even fairy types. Rest in peace, fairy. <laughs> yeah, look at that, energy types, not that important, but I opened it up and it's also very nice because you have like this divider, you can just put your energies back like this. Okay, this is a whole heap of stuff. I think this will be the thumbnail, right? Maybe, uh, trainer's toolkit like this. Yeah, this will be a fantastic thumbnail. Wouldn't you agree? <laughs> Anyhow, uh, let's open some packs, right? We have Unbroken Bonds, we have four packs, so maybe we have a little bit of luck and uh, get more value out of this trainer toolkit. All right, first booster pack. It's been a while since I've opened packs, to be honest. And the energy of choice is a Lightning Energy. Bzz, why not? This is uh, my favorite type, so let's go. We have Salanded, there's a Coughing, a Lolan Diglett, Zubat, Jigglypuff, Melkor Berry even stack up on some better uh, item cards as well. So this could be seeing a little bit of play. Tentacruel, Ultra Force Carnivore if you really want to counter Obstagoon with your Baby Blown deck. There's the Reverse Toracat and the Rare Bazam! It's Gengar with the Shadow Pain. Not as good anymore because yeah, Vs are getting more popular, but still, Gengar is a, a very popular Pokemon. Let's go with Sword and Shield. Sword and Shield, what did that bring to the meta? Of course, Zacian. I wouldn't even mind pulling like a Stone Journal or whatever, since we do get an Energy Acceleration and Darkness Ablaze for every VMAX out there, so that's good. One, two, three, one energy to the side, and it's a Psychic type energy. What are we gonna be able to pull? It's been a while since I opened booster packs, I'm so excited. We have our cool looking Bell Toy. Wooloo! Adorable. Joltik. Salanded. Yeah, we have a Club Opus. Heatmore. Galarian Stunfisk. There's a V Pokemon coming out of that specific Pokemon. Hyper Potion, so even more item cards. Palpat Reverse! Nice, I love playing with reverse uh, item cards. I don't even have this, I think. And um, the rare Shazam! It's Cramorant! Not the Cramorant we got used to, but the Spellpad is nice. Those, this is gonna be going straight into my Baby Blonde's deck. I'm still playing Palpat. I don't even like Mewtwo. I don't like starting with it. So, Palpat, way better. Help pad way better. So you even have fun while exploring some booster packs. This is probably the best Pokemon product ever. Okay, next up, Voltorb. Voltorb, Nose Pass, Wingull. There's a couple of them in the background. Phantom, Bronzor, 
Indeedy. Skyla, I need another supporter. This was way better with the first turn supporter rule. It was it when first turn supporter rule was not here. Skyla could see some play, but now it's pretty useless. Electrode, and there's Sandy Gas, Revert, and the rare is Electrovire. Not good. And the, the most things, like the, the thing that made me happy the most was the Palpad Reverse, funny enough. But I'm already glad as it is. Look at all that good stuff. Do, do you know if you would buy all singles with all of these cards, you will uh, you would pay more than the purchase price of a trainer toolkit. I uh, bet you that. Another energy is Fire Types. Let's see what we pull from another Rebel Clash pack. Scope it. Galarian Mr. Mine. Caterpie, which can evolve on the first turn when you play it. Insane. Barboach. Arakuda, Halucha, Morgrim, Medichan, Heat, oh yeah, there's a Magmortar Reverse, and the rare, Sha! It's Galarian Mr. Prime. So, not fantastic pulls from the packs, but the box itself was legendary as it is. So, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this uh, mini booster pack. Uh, Elite Trainer Toolkit Pokemon product opening. If you did, be sure to mod the like button. Let me know what you think about the specific product. Will you purchase this uh, yourself? Uh, they are just released uh, on the 26th of June when we're recording this video. So get yourself one of these tra Trainer Toolkits. I recommend it for sure. If you uh, don't get any of these products, you can also buy singles. Uh, you can uh, get, of course, the code card for the specific product on PokeDownStore.com. And also, if you want to purchase physical cards, go to CardMarket.com. Anyhow, have a fantastic rest of your day, and I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Be sure to subscribe. Peace out.